Hey everybody, it's Chris. I hope everyone is healthy uh, and you're all doing well. Ignore this, which is a dry spot of skin, which I can't seem to get to go away. If you're watching this video, then most likely you have been affected in some sort of way by the recent COVID-19 outbreak. Government agencies, the CDC in my case, have even said to stay in place and practice social distancing to help stop the spread of the virus. But what if you want to help out more while staying at home? Well, that's where Fully At Home comes in. More on that after the intro. Briefly, I want to speak about what Folding at Home does, but if you don't care about that, you can skip to this time to hear how to start using your computer to find the cure for COVID-19. So, coronavirus. Even though we don't have any cure or medication to help lessen its effects, the biological building blocks of the virus stay the same. The part that we're interested in, and the whole medical field is interested in, is the proteins that deal with replication and function of the virus. Proteins are made up from a strand of amino acids that fold into complex three-dimensional figures. The protein's function relies on two things. One, the atoms that comprise the amino acids, and two, what shape the protein took after its folding event. We want to understand how these viruses fold so we can stop their functions such as replication and the suppressant of the immune system. However, to medical researchers, they don't really care the final shape of the protein. They care how it gets from a strand of amino acid and how they move, how the atoms move to form a folded protein. Because how the atoms move relative to each other will tell a lot about the function of the protein. If we can understand that phenomenon, then scientists can introduce new groundbreaking therapeutics. If you want to hear more about protein folding from some industry experts, click on either the Folding at Home March 15th coronavirus update or this video which explains how protein folding works. You can help find the cure to coronavirus and other infectious diseases by donating your computer's spare power to running protein folding simulations. Thousands of computers across the world network together to solve one big problem. How does a protein fold? And that big problem gets divided into a bunch of smaller problems. What does the protein look like at this certain time with these certain conditions? And that's what gets dished out to your computer. When enough people have given results to that Folding at Home project, Folding at Home actually gives the data to scientific institutions to start developing medicine. If you want to start donating, go to Folding at Home's Start Folding page, link in the description, to download the Folding at Home client for your operating system. From the research I found, the COVID-19 project is in urgent need of GPU donors, which means people with graphics cards in their system to donate. This is because the COVID-19 project is GPU accelerated, so using a GPU instead of a CPU is many times quicker. At this time, I'm not sure if the COVID-19 project runs on CPU-only machines, but you can check out Folding at Home's list of projects to see if you would like to donate to some of those. I have to warn you, this pushes your computer hard. Don't be too alarmed because I ran this 24 seven on my desktop with two GPUs for almost a week and there were no fires, but it is something you have to consider. If you slide the power bar to full, then Folding at Home will take full advantage of all the power your computer can give, which will certainly take more power and output more heat. So be warned that your power bill will go up and your computer will run hot. But the main idea of Folding at Home is that when you're actually doing things on your computer, it will stop the simulation so all your Chrome tabs and all your games will not run any different, but when you're not using your computer, then it will start the simulation. That's about it. This is not the only way to help with the coronavirus outbreak, but anything helps. I hope you all stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video.